REITs have been a hot topic lately, as people think they might be a good investment in the near future. Now, obviously, there are many different types of investments out there. You have stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and real estate. But what are REITs? And should you invest in them? In this video, I want to tell you all the things you need to know about REITs and if you should consider investing in them. Not only that, but I will also walk you through the guide on how to start investing in these and whether or not it might be a good investment for you. So without further ado, let's dive in. Now, the first question is obviously, what are REITs? Also known as real estate investment trusts, they are companies owning and operating income generating real estate assets, such as office buildings, apartments, shopping centers, warehouses, and hotels. REITs allow you to invest in large-scale income-producing real estate without buying and managing the properties yourself. Think of it like a real estate professional buying properties for you without you ever having to lift a finger. They are required by law to give at least 90% of their taxable income to a shareholder like you in the form of dividends, which makes them a popular investment option for income-seeking investors. REITs differ from other real estate companies in that they do not develop properties for resale, but rather buy and develop properties to operate as part of their own investment portfolio. They can be publicly traded on stock exchanges or privately held and can be focused on a specific real estate sector. So are REITs a good investment? Well, to tell you honestly, it is not possible to make a blunt statement about whether REITs are a good investment, as this will depend on an individual's specific investment goals, risk tolerance, and financial situation. So for one person, the answer is yes, and for another, the answer is no. In short, this is a question only you can answer. However, I can provide you with some advantages of REITs to help you make your decision about this investment. But before that, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so that you're always updated with our new uploads. Now, here are six things to consider when investing in REITs. Number six, diversification. One potential benefit of REITs is portfolio diversification as they offer a way to invest independently of the stock market and can provide relatively stable returns. REITs can be less volatile than stocks, which makes them a potentially safer way to add growth and income to a portfolio. There are many different types of REITs to choose from, including retail, healthcare, residential, communications, hospitality, industrial office, and location-specific REITs. This diversification can lower an investor's risk profile without negatively impacting returns. By investing in REITs, investors can diversify their portfolio in terms of property types, tenants, and locations. REITs typically own a diverse range of assets, including apartments, condos, offices, retail stores, and other buildings in various markets. This diversification can help protect against the risks of investing in any single micro market. Many investors find REITs attractive because they offer this diversification and can help reduce overall portfolio risk. Some investors choose to invest heavily in one REIT market, while others prefer to diversify their REIT investments. Number five, tax advantage. REITs benefit from a tax advantage due to the requirement that they invest at least 75% of their assets in real estate and give at least 90% of their taxable income to investors. This means that REITs may not have to pay corporate tax if they meet these criteria. In addition, investing in REITs located in tax-free jurisdictions can be attractive to some investors, particularly foreign investors. Number 4. Liquidity REITs offer liquidity, which is the ability to easily buy and sell investments. This can be particularly appealing to investors who are attracted to the potential risk-return profile of real estate, which is often viewed as offering good potential returns while posing a lower risk of loss than other REITs. Investing in REITs can provide a way to access the potential benefits of real estate investing while also enjoying the liquidity of publicly traded securities. Number 3. Predictability Real estate investments can offer a certain level of predictability due to the long-term nature of the asset. Real estate tends to appreciate over time, although the rate of appreciation can vary depending on a variety of factors such as location, local economic conditions, and market demand. Additionally, rental income from real estate investments can be relatively stable as people and businesses often need a place to live and work regardless of economic conditions. Number 2. Professionally Managed they're managed by what? A professional? Yes, REITs are typically managed by professional real estate investment managers who have the experience and expertise to make informed decisions about the properties in their portfolio. These managers are responsible for various tasks such as acquiring and disposing of properties, negotiating leases, and managing maintenance and repairs. 
The benefit of professional management is that it can help to ensure that the properties in the REIT's portfolio are being effectively managed and are generating income for the REIT and its shareholders. Individual investors may not have the time, resources, or expertise to manage real estate investments on their own, so REITs can provide an alternative way for them to access the real estate market. By pooling their money with other investors, they can benefit from professional management and potentially achieve higher returns than they could on their own. Number 1. Solid Long-Term Performance Are you one of the people who believe in the power of long-term investments? I have good news for you. REITs can be a suitable investment for long-term investors who are looking to hold their investments for an extended period of time. By holding REITs for a long period of time, investors can potentially benefit from the long-term appreciation of the underlying properties and the income generated by these properties. Now, are you convinced about REITs? Here are the exact steps you need to take to start investing. Number 1. Open a Brokerage Account To invest in publicly traded REITs, you will need to open a brokerage account with a financial institution or online brokerage firm. A brokerage account is a type of investment account that allows you to buy and sell securities such as stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and exchange-traded funds, or ETFs. Some great ones to consider would be Webull, Charles Schwab, and TD Ameritrade. Not only that, but you can open a brokerage account through a financial institution as well, such as a bank or credit union, or through an online brokerage firm that specializes in providing investment services. To open a brokerage account, you will typically need to provide some personal and financial information and may need to meet certain requirements such as having a certain amount of money to invest. Once you have opened a brokerage account, you can purchase shares of publicly traded REITs by placing an order through the brokerage platform. There are many different brokerage platforms available to choose from, each with its own set of features, fees and requirements. I recommend comparing several different platforms to find one that meets your investment needs and goals. Number 2. Choose what REITs to invest in With over 225 publicly traded REITs to choose from, it can be challenging to decide which REITs to invest in. As a beginner investor, it may be helpful to start by focusing on equity REITs, which are REITs that invest in physical real estate properties and generate income by leasing them out to tenants. Equity REITs can provide a way to access a diverse portfolio of real estate assets and potentially benefit from the income and appreciation of these assets. When choosing which REITs to invest in, it is important to consider factors such as the REIT's investment strategy, the type of properties it owns, and the industries it operates in, its financial performance and management quality, and its dividend yield and payout history. It may also be helpful to diversify your portfolio by investing in a variety of REITs that operate in different real estate sectors, such as residential, commercial, industrial, or healthcare. Number 3. Purchase Shares once you have identified the REITs you want to invest in, you can purchase shares in the REITs by placing an order through your brokerage account. The amount of shares you purchase will depend on your investment budget and your investment goals. Diversify your portfolio by investing in a variety of REITs that operate in different real estate sectors and to never invest more than 10% of your investment account in any one company. This can help to reduce the overall risk of your portfolio and potentially provide more stability over the long term. Build your portfolio slowly over time, rather than investing a large amount of money all at once, helping you to spread out your risk and potentially avoid making impulsive investment decisions. Now the point here is, REITs can be a good option for investors who are looking for income, diversification and professional management of their real estate investments. However, remember that REITs, like any other investment, carry some level of risk and it is important to carefully consider your investment objectives and risk tolerance before making a decision. I recommend doing your own research and consulting with a financial professional before making any investment decisions. So the only question left is, are you ready to start investing in REITs? Tell me in the comment section below. I hope this content has been helpful and that you will continue to give this video a thumbs up and follow our channel for more of our upcoming videos. In fact, if you want to learn about investing in real estate as a complete beginner, watch this video next where I'll go into complete detail. So click the video on the screen now and we'll see you in the next one.